Good afternoon and welcome back to the Costa Del Rey Naye Perkins Garages for an MG3 exclusive navigation walk around video. Before we get started, if you fancy being the Costa Del Rey more often and watching me walk around lots of vehicles, click the subscribe button and I'll be seeing a lot more of you. So this here is an Arctic White MG3 exclusive navigation featuring the 1.5 litre VIT Tech engine that produces 105 PS of power, transmitting that power through a five speed manual gearbox. We get the seven years of MG warranty with this one, so the MG warranty expires in September, hold your breath, 2030. Yes, it's a very long time. The vehicle itself has only done two and a half thousand miles and it is in lovely condition. And we've got lots of spec on this little one. I love these MG3s. I think they drive beautifully. They're good on insurance and great on fuel. So these can be a perfect little hatchback for many. So in the next 15 minutes, I'm going to walk you around bumper to bumper, corner to corner, showing you what these are all about. First off, we're going to come to the near side front and I'll show you the remote central lock-in. So this is the key to be expected. And so we have a physical blade there as well. So in there, we have some lovely headlights. So obviously you have headlights, but they're LED headlights and you've got LED daytime runners. Unfortunately, they don't turn on when you flick the key, but this pattern here is a daytime running light and that will give you the ultimate visibility no matter the lighting condition. So even on the brightest of afternoons like today, you're gonna to be perfectly seen by other road users. The MG3 comes with a beautiful chrome honeycomb style grille. It really looks beautiful with that nice MG badge glistening in this winter sunshine. Moving ourselves around now, we come to the first 17 inch machine cut alloy wheel. So that means you have the silver shiny face and the gloss black just behind. So they are really pretty alloy wheel. So these come with fitted Kumo tires as standard. You have a beautiful silver brake calipers. Yeah, great tires. I've just left on a jarlet so you can see just how lovely condition those tires are. We have a few sensors on this one as well. So if we look up into the windscreen there, that's a light sensor. So this MG3 features automated lights. So probably in about 20 minutes or so when the sun does drop down behind Perkins, these lights will come on automatically. Now, let's just take a walk around the vehicle. So let's turn the camera around now and face the sunshine. And this will give you a good understanding about how wonderful all the body panels are. So what I do at this stage of the video, I get nice and acute to the body work. And I just gently rock the camera down the body, hopefully displaying to everybody sat at home or wherever you might be watching this video, how beautiful all the body panels are. Then we can link that back round to the offside rear wheel and give you a good look at that other machine cut alloy wheel. Again, 17 inches in diameter. The rear brakes on an MG3 are drum brakes. If you don't know much about that, they are ultra low maintenance. So for you, you're not gonna have to be replacing pads and discs all the time. A vehicle of this size and this weight, rear drums are ideal. They're self adjustable inside. So again, you won't have to change any components in there for a very long time, unless you do hundreds of thousands of miles a year, then that might be different. Moving ourselves around the rear bumper, the MG3 exclusive navigation comes with rear parking sensors, which are complemented beautifully with a high definition reversing camera. Before we look inside the boot, we're just gonna give the near side the exact same treatment as we did the off side. So again, finding a nice angle, again, it's a bit shadier this side. I'm just gonna gently rock the camera, hopefully you get an understanding no dents, no marks, no scratches, and things such as that. So now, at the near side rear, we'll give you a chance to have a look at that, which is a beautiful alloy. Oh, I've been around it, no signs of any damage on any alloys. Now at the near side front there, again, a matching set of four Kumo tires. So it's worth noting, um, every tire comes with these lovely TPMS sensors. So in there is a pressure sensor, so on, if you did have a deflation inside one of the tyres, you'll get alerted to that on the dashboard. Lovely technology, eh? Lovely tech. Okay, so to open up the boot, here's a little pressure pad just in that little crevice there. And that opens up to be a fairly large volume boot. Obviously, for such a small hatchback, we're not expecting it to be a low loader, but you still get ampler space in there, maybe a couple of suitcases, maybe a, a couple of small to medium sized dogs, not a problem obviously your tornio parcel shelf can come out as well underneath the liner there is additional storage maybe you've got some muddy wellies muddy football boots things such as that and there is a tire sealant kit and compressor to get you out of trouble if you did have a punch on the side of the road 
beauty about MGs, let me into a little secret there, if you didn't know already, when you buy an MG, you get a year of AA breakdown cover. Now, when, when you bring your MG back to an MG dealership for its annual service, that AA breakdown cover starts again. So if you did unfortunately have a puncture, and you're not in a position to change uh, or use the inflation kit, call the AA. They come and help you. But again, you need to get it serviced every year to maintain the MG warranty. So now we're going to have a look inside this lovely little MG3. Starting at the door cards, we have this hard wearing, easy clean plastic door cards there. We do have four electric windows, you do get the corresponding switch on every door card. For the first time in this video, let's just spin that camera around and we can then show you the beautiful rear seats. So an exclusive, it's a part leather, part cloth interior. So you have like a dark grey leather with this little cross stitch pattern in the middle so it's going to be nice and comfortable very padded as well these seats we can give you a bit of definition there so yeah very comfortable rear seating if you carry the smaller humans of this world and you require the iso fixing seats and we have one on the left hand rear and another one again on the right hand rear and again plenty of legroom inside these vehicles i'm just going to uh, take us to the front now and show you around the driver's seat right so on the driver's door card we have a lovely synthetic leather on the armrest there so it'll be nice and comfortable but again a nice plastic on the door card four electric windows so this is where you'll find all four window controls with interior locking found just nef left neft of the door handle i've done a lot of talking to myself today people so bear with me so there we're looking at the beautiful drivers and passenger seats so again with a part leather part cloth but that amplified the bolsters around the side there so it's going to be a very comfortable seat indeed at the bottom there we have a rear tilt we have a height adjustment and forward and backwards is done on the conventional rail just down there i'm just going to jump inside the vehicle now you may hear a little bit of distortion on my microphone so please just bear with me for a moment door properly okay so a conventional key so into the ignition turn it round but you do need the foot on the clutch to start the engine I'm just going to pop down the sun visor so I can actually see okay uh, so apologies at the start of the video I might have got the mileage slightly out there this vehicle has done 3180 miles to be exact I know we've got Radio 4 talking to us Okay, so give you a quick tour around the interior. The left hand side is an RPM gauge that counts the revolutions of the crankshaft times 1000, also known as the output power of the engine. The right hand dial there is an analog speedo with miles per hour around the outside and kilometers an hour in the middle. So that's perfect if you plan to go to the continent because you have your kilometers an hour there. At the bottom, we do have a small driver display there, and we can control that using the button on the end of the indicator stalk. So that will give you all the essential information. So currently looking at the odometer, the N to the left hand side is a gear position indicator. So as you put it into gear, that will tell you what gear it is in, only with the clutch upwards. But yeah, obviously I'm stationary, so I can't show you that. But that is where your gear will be displayed. And it also gives you an indicator when to change up and down. Back down now, so you can get into your chip computers. So A, then B. And we have the ambient air temperature, beautiful day today. We have the distance to empty, so 106 miles. Then we have instantaneous MPG, uh, average MPG, average speed there as well. This one here is the distance to the next service. Wonderful. I love these MG3s. I think they're brilliant. So let me just take you around the steering wheel. And to do so, I'm going to have to pop my seat backwards a little bit so you can see something other than my knees. I'm quite tall, you see. Uh, cruise control features on the right hand side of the steering wheel very simple system to get your head around that will take it off a standby simply click that button there and that will set your speed to override it tap the brake you're back in control but again if you're not using cruise control and you are driving on the motorway often start using it it is fantastic for your fuel consumption we have a voice command button this is a perfect button when you have your phone connected via apple carplay this will activate siri and from there you can ask siri to do a whole range of tasks for you such as play music set navigation what's the weather going to be like tomorrow things such as that so that is a very useful button on any modern vehicle we have a programmable button a programmable button here a star button this is programmed to be the home button for the FICM module the infotainment screen left hand side of the steering wheel is where you'll find your quick toggle media controls 
previous and next song, we have an up and down volume and a mute button is found in the middle. On the bottom of that cluster, we have the pick up and decline phone call, and the SRC button is also known as a source button, and that will change the input source to the radio. For example, you're listening to BBC Radio 4, and you fancy playing some tunes from your phone. Tunes. Click that, and then it will change the input to the stereo. So progressing the video now into the central reservation of the interior. As we have drums on the back that enable us to have a conventional, that is nostalgic, handbrake, which is nice to see. These are the controls of a five speed manual gearbox. Um, it's a lovely gearbox to drive. I think these MG3s are fantastic to drive anyway, to be honest with you. If you go ask anyone at Perkins, they'll always say Dan loves an MG3. And that is because of the naturally aspirated 1.5 engine. I think it's, um, it's a, also a it's just bulletproof it really is lovely to drive get them wound up you've got plenty of power the great chassis good suspension fantastic brakes and the gearbox is to match so from the outgoing mg3 so we've had this facelift now for a few years but the other mg3 the first one um, a modification they made when bringing out the facelift was to make the gear stick more weighted to give you a sportier feel and just look at the way it just pops into gear there it's a real nice sensation driving these mg3s Anyway, that's enough of me about obsession about MG3s. Down there we have a 12 volt socket and a USB port. The USB port would be perfect to connect your phone via Apple CarPlay. If you don't know what Apple CarPlay looks like, please refer to my photographs and from there you should see a lovely video, uh, video photograph. In front of that we have a button to turn off the traction control, we have one for the four-way hazard lights and also the E with the circle around it is for automated stop-start. So if you don't enjoy that, you can click that once and then that will disable that function. But that is a Euro compliant bit of spec, so all new vehicles will come with that. Here is heating, ventilation and air conditioning controls. The temperature is found to the left hand side and the fan speed is found to the right hand side. We have very simple layout of buttons here, and we have demist for the windscreen. We have different flows events found down the bottom, rear demist, recirculation, and air conditioning is found on the tile with the frost. Very simple, lovely. Moving ourselves up, we have a few more buttons. Again, another SRC button to change the input source of the radio. Uh, we have a previous and next song, and we have a volume rocker, along with a home button, which is that silver one and a mute button at the end. So now we can go up and look at this beautiful infotainment screen. So this is, uh, I believe it's 15 inches of pure touchscreen magic. So as you can see, it's devised into different colored tiles. And it, again, once you know what tile does what, it's a very nice system to get your head around. I'm just trying to make this a bit more, um, a bit of a better view for you all uh, there. I think that's nice actually, we'll leave that there. Again, it's almost four o'clock in January. The sun gets particularly low, particularly quickly, so just bear with me. Here we have on the top left-hand tile all of your radio, and that includes different sources such as DAB, AM, FM, and we also have Bluetooth audio there as well. It's a very nice radio to get your hands around, head around, sorry, so you can easily change and program your stations in there. But if you did decide to purchase this vehicle on handover, the sales will sit with you and program in all of your radio stations. Honestly, it's very simple, so we'll teach you how to do it as well. Once they're programmed in, you know what number to click on very easy to navigate around. So again, I mentioned this home button, one click of that silver button will return you back to your home page. Bottom left, you can find your phone connectivity, so you can connect your phone via Bluetooth. But again, if you're using Apple CarPlay, that will supersede it there. At the bottom there, we do have one for video and pictures, so you can load that via the USB port. In the middle is TPMS, so I mentioned earlier, the tyre pressure management system, and that is where you can see the live tyre pressures and temperatures of all four corners. Again, this will alert you to a deflation of one of your tyres as well. Uh, then we can go over to your navigation, which is found bottom right in the orange tile. Now that will load, and then it will ask us to accept a licence to make sure we're not doing anything unlawful whilst we are driving. There is that, so we click accept, like so, and this is the home page of the navigation. Three uh, lines at the bottom, then we can click new route, and from there 
we can put in any lovely address we wanted to. For example, I'd like to come to Perkins to look at this MG3. Click in the postcode box to the right hand side. We shall need Charlie, Mike, and we need to bring up the numbers. 77, 6, back to the letters. I clicked the wrong button, my apologies. 6SA, click that, it will navigate your route straight here to Perkins Garages or the front door of it. Obviously, I'm not going to click start because I'm here already. And that effectively is the navigation. From there, all is left to show you is the beautiful reversing camera. Again, it's quite light out there. But you have the lovely lines which will navigate you into any parking spaces that you require. And don't forget the parking sensors, so that will give you an intermittent beep that will increase in frequency as you get closer to the object in question. That's about it for me on this lovely little MG3 as the sun is just about to set over Perkins there. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I've answered a few of your questions, but if you did have any other questions, get in contact 01376 550 899. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and even leave us a lovely comment below. Hope you all have a great weekend, and I shall be back for more first thing in the morning. Bye-bye for now.